Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Uh, I got a story. It's a, it's a little dated, but it's still worthwhile to bring up. So, um, there was a couple buddies. You know, they wanted to, they wanted to commit some insurance fraud. Nice, Jonas. What they do, man? They like slip and fall in the grocery store. Yeah, they. Yeah, one of them threw down a banana peel. The other one just stepped on it. And was like whoa, 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 and then fell over. They yeah. backed their Honda Civic into their gold Honda Civic into the, <laughs> a car and get caught. Yeah, I saw that. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, so this happened in, I believe it was China, Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love how you guessed China, but it was just like another Asian place. No, it was lit. Ch- China tries to say they own Taiwan. Oh, yeah. that actually yeah. makes it funnier. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not that yeah. far off. So, mm. um, see who you stand with. It, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, um, so basically, these guys had a really good idea, so to speak, <laughs> they that really they were gonna idea. take. They took out a bunch of insurance. Uh-huh. And they were how old were they? Twenty three ish. Okay, this sounds so, like something that a twenty three ish person would do. What they said was that the one guy was riding his bike when as, it was cold outside, as guys tend to do, right? And he got double frostbite on his legs to the point where they had to amputate his legs. Uh, okay. I don't really see how you're going to get insurance fraud out of it. It seems like stupid behavior. Yeah. So, but basically what they did Uh is his friend convinced him to soak his legs in dry ice for 10 hours. 10 hours, huh? Yeah. Okay. So a long time. And then when they went to the hospital, the medical staff was like, hey, homie, you don't have any shoe marks on your, or sock marks on your feet from wearing these, riding this bike and. That night it was 42 degrees outside, not below freezing. So they ended up. That's how they ended up getting caught. I, wait, okay. And, and then so, the, and the frostbite was actually very even. You know, there was no let's, like. Let's just rewind half a second here, my man, because I feel like the people at home are going to have similar questions. To the yeah, ones that's that I'm why thinking I in to... my head. How do you get money if you are stupid and you ride your bike in like cold weather? He has insurance that work? on his legs, or brother. Something. So, like, but I think the the wildest part is the one friend that would be like me going to you and just being like, "Listen, soak your legs in dry ice. They're gonna get amputated, brother. But we're getting one point three million dollars, brother. That's the that's what they were gonna get. If I insure my brain." And then I shoot myself. Well, then you'd be dead. Yeah. I mean, well, this guy basically freaking ended his life because his legs are gone. Yeah. Well, and he gets no money. Well, here's the thing. And he looks stupid. And he's going to jail. Uh, That part. So if you have a friend that's trying to convince you to soak your legs in dry ice and get them amputated. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's probably a hard sell. It's, <laughs> I don't know, Jonas. Yeah. I've convinced people to do some pretty effed up ish in my life. All right. Wow. I don't mean like nothing bad. Look, okay, look, man, look. We did the story in the about climate today. You got to clarify. We do have to clarify. About. I've never done any f. Sh- never done a ditty party. Yeah, I've never done. Okay, look, I'm not a fuck boy. I've never done any fuck shit to anybody. All right, that's real talk. All right, TNT Dynamite drop microphone. I've never Bow. heard. A, never heard a woman. Never coerced a woman. Never forced a woman. Never heard a man. Never forced a man. Never coerced a man. That ain't me. But I might get you to like you know. Go talk to a girl or something. Oh, that's wow. That's way a, out of your league. It, it's, it's <laughs> just, so that's pretty effed up. Why? I don't know. Why is that messed up? That's more like. Because help. it's not because I think they can do it. It's because I want to see them try. Well, it's right. for my own amusement. Yeah. I, I feel mean, like that's effed up. I mean, but what if they, what if it worked? And then I get all the credit. Yeah, exactly. And if it fails, you're like, <laughs> Congratulations why are you such a bad a uh, woman talker. Oh, what do you? <laughs> what are you that's what you say to your friend. Oh, that's fair. You throw. That's it, you're fair. like, man, you don't have no game. Now, I set you up, brother. You ain't knocking now. 
so I don't know. I just okay. I, I'm sorry. I just didn't understand how they were going to get money from this. But I get it. J Lo insured her ass. So I'm sure if something happened to her ass and they were to find out it was an actual accident, though this doesn't seem like an accident. This seems like just stupidity it's, and or it's negligence. It's pretty interesting that you insure your legs and then you get frostbite from riding in above freezing temperatures. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm more, I'm not so caught up on the fraud. I'm more caught up on the like, the plan. what kind of friend. Oh. Like, like the you said, like, what, what you're doing, that's a good ribbing. Like, hey, Jonas, go hit on that supermodel. She looks like she's into you. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's you not dumb, like, hey, go dumbass. cut off your finger. No, like, no, you know what I mean? Like, ha, ha, ha. Gotcha. I don't like losing body parts. That's not yeah. really my Yeah. Like, hey, I know you're not going to be able to walk for the rest of your life, but you're, we're going to split this $1.3 million. I'll even give you the, an extra point. You know, it's an odd number, so I'll take seven point seven. You take point six. Yeah, it's not a good plan, is the thing. Like, yeah, it, it leads me to believe that. Okay, so the person who convinced these two individuals of the plan is not smart. No, it was just two of them. Like one uh -oh. of them, they're just friends. Okay, so it was just two guys. Two guys. So the first guy, the plan maker, the brains behind the operation. Oof, call it that. Exactly. Not very smart. So the level of intelligence in the person that went through with it, brother. Yeah. Like this man needs to be brought up on charges for elder abuse. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like it's like yeah. Did did he find a mentally challenged individual it, to then like? It's I like because I can't imagine anyone with normal, at least average intelligence, not like on the spectrum of like disabled. It feels you like could, you, have you to could be convince them to do this. I know a lot of disabled people. I don't think I could convince them to cut their legs off. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I could do that. Yeah, you're like I've worked with a lot of disabled folks and. I couldn't get yeah. them to freeze their legs off. I've dated a lot of women who probably are like, you know, IQ level disabled. Jesus. I'm just saying, man, you know, they're not, you know, they're not, they're not sending their best. They're not sending their best. <laughs> they're not sending their best. But yeah, not man, to me at least. Uh, yeah, definitely could not. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I don't know. It's it just blows my mind, and then now and now they're just gonna go to jail. Like it's it's yeah, good. It they is probably basically elder to, abuse. It is. They need to go to jail. So you said these were two twenty year olds, man. I I don't know that that goes beyond like that's like that's like nine year old logic to me. If you ask me, like, wow, nine year olds are like just cut your legs off. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, and he's just like oh, all right, sure. I don't need them anyway. I can I get ever, a cool wheelchair. Did I ever do anything really stupid when I was a kid? Uh, no, nah, not nothing like this. No, but I mean, like, I feel like kids do stupid stuff because you don't know any better. Yeah. Like, I feel like I, I feel like I did put something in an electrical socket and shock myself. <laughs> now there is a syndrome, Jonas, for those people who feel like they, uh, like they shouldn't have like a certain appendage. I can't remember the name of it either. I actually, used like to they it. shouldn't have an appendage. Yeah. So there's been cases where there's been a. Uh, like people who have cut off an arm or cut off an, a leg because they feel like they were born to not have that appendage. Oh, okay. So it's like it's a it's, it's a psychological disorder to a certain extent. Because I would I would assume that's probably true. But it it uh, there are cases of it where people have actually gone through and cut off an arm or a leg them themselves. I'm just saying, I don't deserve this hand. It's not about deserving. They just you know they feel like they were. You know, if you oh, feel they like, identify as a one armed man, if, there you go. They identify as that. They don't feel complete until they do it. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, so some people, some weird energy, but you know, some people want to, can't, won't be able to feel complete until it. they have a job. It needs to be said, John. Yeah, say so, it. No, don't. Say, what are you talking about? Don't, don't, don't stray away from it. I don't say know it. What you're talking You know what I'm talking about. Know you know what I'm talking about. Know. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, just, okay. I'll our say. government needs stopped. <laughs> yeah, right. The stopped the demon lady. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Don't convince your friends to use dry ice on their legs. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, fraud. Yeah, if you're gonna do, do it, it, do it legal like, real legal like. Yeah, like if you don't want your legs, just talk to a doctor. 
No doctor's going to amputate, though, because you just want it to happen. So you got you end up having to do it yourself. I mean, there was the guy, worst first day on the job ever. Oh, he brother. got amputated. Brother, that was so, that was not consensual. Yeah, so anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecreasetown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.